Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about using the FEM simulator in Keysight ABS to simulate package transitions and wire bonds. Most of the time when we design an IC, it ends up being packaged. Package devices are much easier to handle than bare die and are compatible with high volume manufacturing and assembly techniques. However, the package will affect the IC's performance by adding parasitics and increasing loss. The key to successful packaging is co-design of the IC and the package in order to optimize the performance of the package device rather than the chip on its own. We design our ICs using Keysight ADS and for low frequency applications and 50M transitions we can often use the built-in wire bond model shown here. This allows us to specify the shape of the wire bonds and get a good idea of the resulting inductance. However, this approach struggles to model more complex transitions such as those between multiple die in a package. Uh, what I'm showing here is a multi-chip module that we simulated using Keysight ADS and the FEM simulator. We've included the microstrip feed lines of the PCB in green and the array of ground wires in yellow. The package is shown in red and blue. There are two dye within the package, a gallium arsenide IPD dye and a gallium nitride power bar. You can see that we leave space in between the pads on the IPD dye and this is where we combine the FEM simulations with momentum simulations, which are better suited for the actual passive matching networks of the IC. Between the pads on the GAN die, we can use the nonlinear model. With the FEM simulations, we can set them up in a very similar way to momentum simulations, so it's pretty quick to get started. We can set up the ports and the frequency range and adjust the settings as appropriate. When simulating ICs inside a package, Often, the libraries for the IC and the PCB have different units. This can be accommodated through the use of nested technology, where we can see that the technology for the ICs has been nested inside the PCB library. After we've completed the FEM simulation, we can bring the results back into our schematic simulation through the use of lookalike symbols. We can see here the ports on the FEM simulations have been brought out to combine with other schematic elements. So here we have an S parameter file that's come from our momentum simulation of the IPD die, and here we have a nonlinear model of the GAN power bar. Once we're happy with our FEM simulations, we can change the shape and length of the wire bonds and the pad sizes on the IC to optimize the transition and improve the performance of the packaged IC. So that's a quick overview about how we use the FEM simulator in Keysight ADS. If you want more information on our design services, please go to our website, prfi.com, or find us on Twitter, at prfi underscore UK, or check us out on LinkedIn or on YouTube. Thanks for watching.